I was thinking about grabbing some of that stuff. It's slightly wet. Yeah. What, Chris? Let me uh, let me go grab something real quick. All right, we're going to be moving this nucleus colony right here into this hive box. This is uh, Mesa's first package of bees. Somebody on YouTube suggested one of these. And I thought, well, yeah, heck yeah, man. That'll get the fires going. Remember how shiny the inside of that smoker looks because it'll never look that way again. Never again. It'll be a, a lovely shade of... Lovely shade of creosote? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're good, man. You got that thing playing. More fuel. Yeah, you might just throw some some of that dry stuff on top of it, close it up, let her smoke. That's the ticket. Yeah, that's the ticket right there. get done making working bees we can make some jerky smoke them now or take the top off and then smoke them. i probably just a little puff or two in there there you go my goodness i got their attention well they know what that means it's only hot when you touch it We ready? Ready when you are. Okay. we're going to get it's relatively loose Chris yeah stay stay okay here we go here we go let's say hello to the ladies Oh, yeah. It's a good
good looking box of bees. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe we might have five, five and a half frames completely uh, covered with bees. Oh yeah, that's plenty there. Yeah, they're uh, they're driven down eating. Get that smoking out of view. I'm gonna. Yeah, it might just. Yeah, it doesn't need to be right in there. That'll work right there. Hmm. <coughs> We'll be smoking it with them. Okay, so this looks like a. This looks like just a filler. Yeah, that's yeah. just a filler. That's right. So, I think we may replace that with a starter strip. Yes, sir. Yeah. Looks like this one here might be clean as well. It's got a little bit of... Yeah, it started on it, the side. Yeah, just starting on it, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe that could get replaced also. Mm-hmm. You know, I haven't had one guard bee hit me. You know, Chris, I gotta say they're a lot calmer than I was expecting. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to show both sides of this frame, I oh. think. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and see a queen. Some brood, a lot of larva. Brood, got honey around the edges. There's some open larvae, a lot of cat brood. Okay. Um, Chris, would you grab that frame out of there for me, please? Sure. A little ahead of myself. I'm just mainly going to try to focus on keeping these in the same order. Yeah, for sure. Right now. like a super seeder cell coming right there mm -hmm. some drone brood down on the bottom mm -hmm. a lot of open larva man they're fixing a boom Some super, super calm bees. Especially <laughs> after what they've been through. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, let me set this down. Yes, sir. Thank you. Just a smidge. <coughs> we don't want to oversmoke the beekeeper. I think he may be oversmoked. <laughs> Like I say, as calm as they are. Oh, look right here, there's one hatching. That's a worker, worker bee coming out right there, just fixing a hatch. That is cool. Look at that. Wow, dude, that is awesome. 
I've never seen that. Like a sworn cell, maybe, Chris, on the bottom. Yeah, it looks like maybe a super procedure cell right there. Queen cup, just open. I think that's there just in case. Yeah, a lot of brood. God dang, there's a lot of brood. He's gonna have you a big colony of bees. I think it's warm enough we don't have to worry about chilling brood. Yeah, I don't I don't think we'll have any issues with that whatsoever. A lot of cap brood. Some honey up in the corners. Hmm. Heck yeah. Man, those are some big bees, buddy. Got several super procedure cells started. Hmm. They may have uh, may have been looking to requeen themselves at one time. Oops, sorry girls. Careful. Yeah, it's got a bunch of open nectar. Some brood right in the center. Any sign of our lady? Uh, I'll be honest with you, Mace. I've been kind of glancing between the frame and my phone so much that I haven't noticed her. Is that her right there, Chris? She's about... Where at? I thought I saw her. Oh, yeah, right there. Right here. They're right on top of her. There she is. That's her, right? Yep. Big, long abdomen. Where'd she go? And I lost her now. Mm-hmm. Maybe that wasn't her. I thought that was. I, man, I could have swore it was, too. She may have crawled to the other side of the frame. I was pretty sure that was her though. I don't know, these bees are so much longer than the ones I have. Mm -hmm. That's pretty wild. Hmm. I don't know, let's flip it over and let's look and see. I'd like to say these are some really big bees. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, let's go back and study this video real, real close mm -hmm. and see if we. See if we got her in there and didn't know it. It's an unfortunate casualty of M frame feeders right there as mm -hmm. bees fall in and drown. Mm -hmm. And they have yeah, a bunch of them. And <clears throat> this one is uh, pretty well empty. Yeah. Yeah. And I think of those three maybe that one has more work going on on it. So. Yeah. And like I say, I think you can. Uh, maybe let that one go. And this one seems to have some work happening. So. So five frames. Which yep. is not bad. Yeah, for sure. Chris, talk to me about where we might put a couple of. 
friends with starter strips? Well, I mean, I, I would probably just start alternating them, staggering them through the hive. This frame goes down on this end, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Does, do you think that's critical on one that... I, being that they don't have any brood or mm -hmm. anything in it, I, I don't know that I even worry about it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I would probably... I would probably go ahead and scoot one of these down and maybe put a starter strip in between them and just let them know, hey, we've got some work to do. And scoot this one down? Yeah, that'll open that brood frame up mm -hmm. and then allow them to be able to draw honeycomb between two fully drawn frames. Because if you don't, if you put those starter strips in, there's a chance, yeah, they're festooning on there. Heck yeah. Sorry ladies, I'm not trying to break the festoon. I'm just trying to... Yeah, I got a little bridge going here. Here's something you can festoon on. There you go. Give you, give you something to hang on. That's good. Go ahead and draw this one over. Yeah, heck yeah. Then, like I say, that'll open up their open up their brood chamber. Give them some work to do. Yeah, oh yeah. Get them to draw out some of these uh, starter strips. What do you think? Keep a couple of these middle ones close. Uh, yeah. You might slide these. I'd probably maybe slide these two over and then put another starter strip. Okay. And then what? You'll need two frames after that. Yeah, we'll do this one, another starter strip. <laughs> tell you, I'm not, not too great on the video and I catch myself watching and not filming. Mm -hmm. I do this. These, uh, have these guys go back in after all. Yeah. Take the place of that frame feeder. Yeah, they definitely won't need that right now. Chris, would you rotate that, keep them yeah, they'll, keep the working side in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if they're building wax right there, I'd point that towards the center. Yeah. Chris, these bees are about as docile as, <laughs> as you could hope for, right? Yeah, I kind of feel silly out here wearing this jacket and veil. I mean, I don't even, I haven't been bumped once. Nothing's buzzed me, nothing. It's like they're not even worried about us. Um. I don't know any better, man. I'd say you had a box of bees right here. Mm -hmm. You know, these girls right here are still trying to get out of this rubber screen. Should I go ahead and pop that off there now, Chris? I would. Uh, 
and to be honest with you, I'd probably do away with this in-frame feeder, either yeah. inside or mm -hmm. just to keep the bees from coming to this box. So you got tape over some more screws in the bottom or no? No, just taped on. You look like you got one in the center right there. Did I miss it? Oh, uh, yeah. No. Thank you, Chris. I did not even see that one. No danger of that thing falling off there, huh? Mm. Look at the pollen load here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there. Looking for somewhere to put it. Mm hmm. There's a bunch of them right there. Lady, I just need you to go next door. I gotta say, the gorilla tape is, uh. <laughs> worth its money, worth, it, worth the price, I huh? I think so, yeah. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. He smashes a few more bees. Than... Yeah, they look like he might have been in a little bit of a hurry. He may have been what weather. Yeah. I tell you what I'd probably do, Mace, is to take that uh, that whole box lid and everything, just kind of set it down in front of this one mm -hmm. and just leave it till dark tonight. Okay. And uh, they'll figure it out. And, as long as we take that frame feeder, kind of not give them a reason to visit it anymore. Okay, yeah. Well, the flies didn't take long. Yeah, no, they'll, they'll be all over that in a hurry. Let me get one of your jars and dump that in it i think so oh goodness that's got a bunch yeah maybe both the jars yeah he said he didn't know how much was left in there oh oh shit you're all right i don't know why i didn't think those rocks were gonna fall out of there no i dropped those in there to try to keep them from drown in, in the they pile up on the top of each other so heavily oh yeah for sure 